If you're new here, welcome, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to see me. So in today's video, we'll be doing hair and makeup. So yeah, keep on watching if you would like to see how I achieve this look and this hair. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, let's just get straight into it. So right now, you see me hot combing the hair because it's a little bumpy, you know what I'm saying, where the part is. So I'm just trying to make it super flat. And then after that, I'm going in with these curlers that I got from the beauty supply store, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 do you see these curls like come on the curls are just so luscious and bouncy and also Bye -bye. did you see obviously she wanted her 15 seconds of fame <laughs> but anyways i was saying do you see the shine on this hair no product yes let me know if y'all want a video on this hair but once i finish curling it i'm actually gonna pin the front of the hair up because I want those curls to be a little bit tighter when it's time to you know comb it out yeah I strode so bad trying to pin these curls baby when I tell you my hand eye coordination this day just nothing was clicking okay I struggled so hard because I wanted to do all of them in pin curls but once I pin up these curls it's time to do the face you already know we start with the brows the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't, you know? So I'm using the e.l.f. e.l.f. brow lift for my brows. And once I work that in, I'm going to press up my brows. And then I'm going to use the spoolie to kind of shape my brows. And that's all you're going to see on the brows because I suck at doing brows on camera. Once I get my brows to my desired shape, I leave them alone. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Shine Control Primer. I don't have a review on this yet because I only used it a few times, but I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know. Once I've worked it in and let it sit for a little minute, I'm going in with my Fenty Skin Tint Stick in the shade 21. If you know, you know. I literally love this stuff, okay? And it's the perfect like match for me. It looks like orange on camera, but I promise like it's my shade. Once I have that applied, I'm going to spray my brush and my face with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. And then I'm going to blend and blend and blend some more. The name of the game is to blend, baby. Once you learn how to blend, you've cracked the code. So for my first concealer, which is going to be close to my shade, I'm going in with the House Labs concealer. I want to say it's in the shade 43. Apparently, I can't talk today. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the shade 43 and you guys see my concealer placement. Once I have did my concealer placement, I am going to bronze with my NYX concealer in the shade Deep Walnut. I've actually been reaching for her more than I've been reaching for my Say uh, Sound Melt Bronzer. If you know, you know. And if you know, that means that you follow me on TikTok. So you guys should go follow me on TikTok. But once I've did my placement, I'm going to blend out my contour, bronzer, whichever one's your vibe. Me, I'm bronzing. And again, the name of the game is what? To blend, blend, and blend again. I should go put that on a t-shirt. If you think you blended enough, then blend some more, baby. Okay? Because again, once you have the key to blending, like you're set. And I also wanted to add... So when I blend out my bronzer around my face, I use a bigger but dense brush. But around my nose, I like to use a small like eyeshadow brush. Also, I don't know why I was using this brush to blend out my concealer. It blended out good, but the brush that I used is linked in my Amazon storefront. But once I blend it out with the brush, I like to go in with a beauty blender just to soak up and pick up any product. Now to highlight under my eyes, I'm going in with my Huda beauty um fall filter matte concealer in the shade 7.1 crumble while we let this concealer sit 
of course we're going in with miss Vanessa Myrick's blush the exact shade will be linked in the description box but to blend out the blush I like to go in with the bottom side of my beauty blender and just really tap that in I feel like it gives such an airbrush finish and as you can see this is a buildable product so now it's time to blend out that concealer and I'm using that tiny brush again to really get in there precise and also when I'm blending out the highlight I'm also contouring out my nose to make it more defined I also like to kind of use that as a guide for my powder placement let me know if you guys do that as well and again I use a beauty blender to really just finish the blend and to make sure everything looks seamless for under my eyes I like to use a brush for powder placement and I'm using the Huda Beauty peach pie powder and as you can see it has me gagged like do you see this so now once all the powder is placed it's time to go work on the eyes I'm using the NYX ultimate warm neutrals palette and I'm not an eyeshadow girly by any means okay I'm just trying to make makeup fun again so I wanted to play in some eyeshadow today because I want to get better at my makeup and I love doing my makeup so why not do cool fun art and stuff on my eyelids so yeah just enjoy me just making something happen on my eyes Guys, you know you better watch out powder and putting that all over my face i'm pretty sure i'm using a fit me in mocha but yeah now i'm going in with this blush it is so gorgeous it's this coral blush again it'll be in the comments and i'm spraying with the charlotte tilbury spray again and i also go in with the milani make it last matte setting spray but i didn't show that part for the lip combo we are going in with this sephora lip liner i'm pretty sure in the shade dark hearts and on top of that, or like in the middle of my lips, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty lipstick, not sure the shade. And I go over that with the Fenty Fuchsia Flex gloss. Oh, it looks so good. For mascara, I've been reaching for the telescopic L'Oreal um, mascara. It's so good. But yeah, that is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.